Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're going to be solving a Physics 7C practice problem on the topic of standing waves. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're going to be working with. So a trombonist sits at the bottom of a well of unknown depth. She finds that if she plays a note of frequency 119 hertz, she is able to excite a standing wave in the well. She then slowly pushes her trombone slide inward, increasing the frequency of the note she is playing. When she does this, she finds that the next highest frequency that excites a standing wave is 153 hertz. The first thing that we have to do is, assuming the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second, what is the depth D of the well? Show your work. Okay, so as you can see, I have a little sketch of the of the well. This distance is Z and the trombonist is here. And basically what's happening is we have a uh, closed open scenario because basically, so this is the summary that we made in our introduction video. And basically, if you imagine the trombonist being here, so all of this is gonna be the trombonist and this is the open air, right? So this is open and this is closed. So even though they aren't telling you this directly, um, this is a uh, closed open scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and write my equations that we figure out on the introduction video for closed open. So let me just do that real quick. Uh, so lambdas are 4L divided by 2 and minus 1. Frequencies are 2 and minus 1 times velocity for L. And they are also telling us on the problem, I just forgot to write it, that the speed of sound in the air is 340 meters per second. We're going to need that over here. Okay, so basically what's happening is these two uh, frequencies produce a standing wave, right? Now, what the problem isn't telling you, and this is the thing that a lot of people messed up, is that a lot of people thought that uh, this was the fundamental and then this was the second harmonic. Uh, well, the third harmonic, because this is open-closed. But basically, a lot of people thought that this referred to n is equal to 1 and this referred to n is equal to 2. And I just don't think that's right because, I mean, I haven't done this problem before, just to be clear, but um, I don't think that's necessarily the case because they aren't telling you that this frequency corresponds to the first harmonic. And usually they're always very specific. They always go like, oh, this is the first harmonic or this is a fundamental or, you know, this is a zero state or just something like that. Uh, but that isn't necessarily the case, so I'm not going to be assuming that it is. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have to do this by just using a good old, um, you know, system of equations. And we're going to try to figure out both N and D at the same time. So let's just go ahead and set those equations. My first equation, I'm going to use this frequency. So for this frequency... This is, I'm going to call it a frequency n. And then the problem is saying that this is the next uh, order frequency. So this is the n plus 1. So let's just go ahead and make some equations out of it. So my first equation is going to be uh, 119. I'm using this is equal to 2n minus 1. Velocity is 340. Uh, divided by 4 times L. In this case, L is equal to D, so I'm just going to go ahead and put D over here. So this is equation number 1. Equation number 2 is going to be 153 is equal to 2, and then this is N plus 1, minus 1, 340, 40. These are the two equations that we have to solve. Uh, we have two equations that we have two things that we don't know. We don't know n and we don't know d. So we're going to have to do some algebra and basically figure them both um, at the same time pretty much. 
So at this point, uh, you guys go ahead and feel free to solve this whatever way you want. You know that a system of equations can be solved in, you know, 50 different ways. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put for the on the left side and then just make them equal to each other. So this means that 2n minus 1 times 340 divided by 119, because this goes to this side, is equal to 2n plus 1 minus 1 times 340 divided by 153, because these two quantities are equal to 40. So I'm going to solve for n first, basically. I'm going to crisscross these two guys because I don't like having fractions, just a personal preference. So 153. Oh, and then these 340s we can just get rid of. 2n minus 1. And then this has to be equal to 119. And then we have... Uh, 2 minus 1, so this is actually equal to n plus uh, 1, 2n plus 1 over here. If you factorize this plus 1 times 2, that's equal to 2 minus 1 plus 1, so this entire chunk is equal to 2n plus 1. So now I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, Multiply these numbers, 153 times 2 is equal to 306. And minus 153, I'm just defactorizing, 119 times 2 is equal to 238 plus 119. So let's just put ends on one side and then not ends on the other side. This is positive, goes negative, so 306 minus 238 is equal to 68. And then uh, this is negative, goes positive, so 119 plus 153 is equal to 272. So n is equal to 272 divided by uh, 68 that will be equal to 4 and I was right this is not the fundamental this is the n equals 4 scenario so now that we have this uh, we can just uh, very straightforward um, you know let's just take this now that we know that n is equal to 4 this is 119 is equal to uh, 2 times 4 minus 1 times 340 divided by 4d. So d is equal to 8 minus 1 times 340 divided by 4 times 119. So d is equal to, let's see. Um, 8 minus 1 times 340 divided by 4 times 119. D is equal to 5 meters. Final answer. Okay, so this is my final answer for part A. And this distance is equal to 5 meters. So now let's go ahead and look at part B. The final part of this problem. So part B says, oh, let me just put it up here. The trombone is loud playing and noise her neighbors. And while she's playing the note with frequency 153 Hertz. So she's playing on this frequency. They place a large board across the mouth of the wheel with the board in place. Will the note still excite its standing wheel if wide or wide note? Okay, so now the neighbors for part B, essentially what they did is we had a, a closed open system, but the neighbors basically made it so that there's a wall here. And now we have a closed, closed system. 
Now the frequency she is still playing at 153 and the depth is still the same because they just put like a thing on top of it but we still have five meters here. So for close closed my equation for um, frequency again from my summary that I made is uh, NV divided by 2L. So basically what I have to do is put these numbers here and then if n is equal to a whole number, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, if it's a whole number, then yes, we're gonna have a standing wave. But if n is not a whole number, then we're not gonna have standing waves because we know that standing waves only occur on positive integers. So we just have to do that. So this is 153 is equal to, um, I like using uppercase, times 340 divided by 2 times 5, so it's 5. So n is equal to um, 153 times 2 times 5 divided by 340. So n is equal to, let's say, 153 times 2 times 5 divided by 340, 4.5. Um, so not an integer, therefore not a standing wave. Final answer. So this is the end of this practice problem as usual. If you're finding this content helpful, uh, please make sure to leave a like if you have any questions. I do read the comments and I will see you guys on the next video.